All right, welcome to Take 3, coming to you at WTSR Radio 93.1. I'm Mel Omega. And I'm Bill Nobes. Each episode of Take 3 brings you one independent artist, three songs performed live, and an in-depth interview about each song. This session was recorded on September 4th, 2022 from the House of Robot. All right, and this episode is artist Mig Sun Daddy. What's hello, good? hello, hello. <laughs> What's good, man? <laughs> Everything. Word, word. All right, so Mix is a Philly-based MC and multimedia mm-hmm. visual artist originally from New York. Yep. His music includes influences from Golden Era, East Coast, Boom Bap, True. and Transcendental Swamp Spirituals. <laughs> oh, word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's just a, a grand, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Grand way of saying yeah. that he's ill. <laughs> but if you need reference, ask someone he shared the stage with, Jesus, Razcast, oh. Planet Asia. Yeah. Uh, the Beat Nuts, yeah, Homeboy Sandman, uh-huh. oh, Homeboy Sandman, Open Mike Eagle, J Live, Petey Crack, shout out to the Woo, Master Killer, and a whole lot more. So uh, we're gonna get to the first song right now. Let's get it. Let's go. What up? What up? Mig Sun Daddy, I'm here. At take three. This John's called Grand Design. So check it out. Uh huh. Mig Sun. It's take three. Apex Club. Let's go. I draw inspiration, saw kings in the making, and in the same painting saw the wings of Satan. I came to bring the walls down like immigration, learn the balance of power and patience like the kids in cages. Vicious days and cold nights, I live and pray and roll dice, I sing the way I hold mics, I kid and play no jokes, right? Flip the pay, you make me SMH. For heaven's sake, never spend more than you make. Is less than A, any extra cake? You should keep it for a messy day. Trust me, I get it. Everybody should know how to stretch and bake. I wet the paint, dip the brush in. Waves come flowing, rushing, soul crushing, don't bust it. Microphone hushing, send him home stunned. You should see the pose he and his homies all froze up in. I up chuck the boogie, give you dumb f- to nookie. Come and tussle with bullies, leave you stronger by your hoodie. Rumble with the sun and feel the wrath of the grand design. No illustrator, iller on the mic, son, that brand is mine. I'm rambling again about the sands of time. Read the ransom, I'ma do a J if you and your man's don't mind. I be a nine like three Ryan Reynolds combined. I can see the five floating on your head, the human paradigm. I tangled with the gods, fought with Horace, jammed with Apollo. Reached across the chapel, Adam handed me a bottle. I still rock the concrete like a titan with the spark of lightning. Bars and writing, son, this gas is hard to siphon. Feel the charge of the bison, the armored viking. I am Dante in the dark, enlightened by my excitement. I have a heightened sense of hunger. Couldn't fight it, so I had to hunt. Slice it, f- it up, wrap them up, now that's a packaged lunch. I'm famished, so my agitation's at a maximum. I'm smacking the mask off you rappers that's in my path, so run. Son, F die. Take three. That's how it's going down. So that was Grand Design. Now, one thing I want to say up front, you know, before every interview, I read all the lyrics and I take notes and write questions down. All right. You're the first artist I couldn't do that with. I got to the third song with no notes, and I realized why. Because you're a visual artist, and what I see here is not so much a story. I see pictures. Mm. I see metaphors that you're using to paint a picture rather than a narrative. Does that feel at all correct, or am I oh, going the wrong direction? No, I mean, well, <laughs> how would I say that's, that's the wrong direction? Like, no, this is just words. There's mm-hmm. no pictures. No. <laughs> it, it's, it's, uh, oh, no, a hundred percent. Take the compliment, Mix. No, I'm, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm trying to figure out like what a, a counter argument to that would be. Like, no. um, uh, it, yeah, of course, um, that's how I uh, view my, my work too. Cause you know, as a visual artist, um, I think I probably couldn't help it if I tried to write, I guess, like more linear and, um, and also a lot of the stuff, uh, most of my work is kind of just stream of consciousness, and mm-hmm. I, I don't have a plan for where the song is going to go or, uh, or where a verse is going to go. And I really just, um, I kind of just get into a, a, a zone, and I, I think it is a similar place in my, my I don't want to say my mind, but like in my, my spirit that, uh, that 
my visual art comes from because it's very touch and feel like the way yeah. I even though I'm a digital illustrator I think I use the digital platform in like the most tangible way I don't do a lot of I, I don't even put me in front of illustrator as an illustrator wow. the program illustrator is like uh it's it's almost like too technical for me to like do my work I can yeah. use it for for certain purposes but when I'm creating like my style of art that people kind of recognize my uh me for yeah it's because I'm on Photoshop with a, uh, a different set of, of brushes, either um, either with natural textures or even just a really crisp texture. But I still I use the pressure to create a, just a one of a kind line. And I don't sculpt the lines. I don't clean them up. I use the natural shape that comes out. Yeah, and yeah. that kind of gives you this hopefully you a, think, a very natural feeling you um, think more of the technical side is holding you back a little bit from what you really want to do like where you're in a photoshop right there's different aspects to the creation process there's the 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 live recording and actual expression of the music yeah and then either at the same time or uh, afterward there's the technical aspect where you're dealing with mathematics you're dealing with the the frequencies and the editing and, and the mixing it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like with, with the songs that you you know you did today like there's no structure hip hop is always like 16 then hook and yeah. 16 outro and all that but yeah. I feel like these songs are more just free flowing thought yeah you're just yeah. like alright cause, cause yeah uh, like like these alright so this song um well I guess you know we'll go to the others as we get there yeah, yeah. but uh but this is one that's lifted from the last mixtape I put out and uh you know it's it's called a, a the mixtape but it's a mixtape because um, I'm really just jacking people's instrumentals and um, and just do just flexing on them and and yeah. just doing you know whatever I feel like doing and and not really putting a lot of thought into like this is a a full piece of art like I didn't think about the the project as I was doing it was just songs that I just I just did yeah um, because I just love to rap I love to write and that's just that that's the place where it comes from and uh, whatever I decide to write about or whatever my pen decides to write about is is a hundred percent just intuitive and I'm not going into it with an agenda. I'm not saying like, Oh, I want to, I want to really drop knowledge on them and make people, you know, think about the state of the world, but that might pop up because I think about the world, Yeah, you know? So if I'm, if I'm writing from a, a true place, then everything that encompasses me as a person is bound to come out. And I trust that. Like, like I like how you came at this because you came at, came at it like as a painter, but you also came at like like kind of like a prophet. Like mm -hmm. I draw inspiration. I saw kings in the making, and in the same painting, I saw the wings of Satan. I came to bring the walls down, like immigration. Learn the balance of power and patience. Like that's like prophetic to me. <laughs> but if you could break that down just a little bit to anybody that you know that goes over the people's head, because like that 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 those couple <laughs> bars are sick. Word. Um, you know, I, 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 I do talk a lot about, uh, the duality of, uh, of life and, um, of energy, wherever, you know, there's, uh, wherever th there's never an empty space, something is always taken over. Yeah. And, um, and I think that you can really look at literally anything in the entire universe and find, uh, a positive and negative for it. You know, as you go through, as you go through your, your life and you, um, you have you have blessings and you have curses uh i think that that's all that's all just your mind making that up for you mm. um you're deciding that this was a blessing and you're deciding that this was a curse and mm. it's it's all it's all a part of of your your past experiences and and what you what you generate based on on your outlook Cause that, that's interesting you say that because even you say that's some that's somebody's curse. That curse could be somebody's blessing. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, you'd be like, oh man, you went through that. Like, I went through similar thing, but it was a blessing for me because sure. it got me here. Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's interesting to take on that. I, I like mean, that. like you can always look at it like that. You can yeah. always look like, oh, I um I got stuck in this traffic jam, but you know I'm not the person up there who caused the traffic jam. Exactly. I was a couple minutes behind. Yeah. And you know, so it's. I don't know the. Uh, no, 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 I don't no, even that's, know what like, like how how we got off the uh, like the bars, but I, but just the idea of, um, of learning the balance in uh, in my life of just pain and beauty and uh, and these are just images that you know like 
that come to my mind when I think of those songs. And that's what the title's referring to, the grand design. I guess so. You know, <laughs> it just like I said, it just I, I have to trust it, and I just kind of like uh, when you when you make when you write the way I do, when you make decisions like that, like the grand design is just. I, it's it's one of the lyrics I plucked from it. I was like, this is what the song's called now. Like yeah. I didn't I didn't have the title at the top of the page and think about that topic. It was just boom. Come circle back around after it's existed for a little while. You're like, oh man, like ah that that song like title choice is a bit more prophetic than I than I thought at the time. Like who knows? We could we could talk all day about how dope I am and how you know <laughs> <laughs> like prophetic this and that yeah. like using like you know grandiloquent words by the way which is yes Woo. using a bunch of grandiloquent ways to describe uh <clears throat> you know how like the artistry but at the same time I I I don't like to really let that go too far because my whole thing forever has always been that I I really am just I'm I'm a super normal regular dude and I do regular dude stuff the way that I create my art I just want to just be whoever I am in that exact moment. And I trust that it's going to produce a, a really cool product that people are going to enjoy, that I enjoy. All right, exactly. let's go on to the next song. All right. All right, let's do it. Mig Sun, this one's called Lunch. You know it well. Shouts to Scatman Crothers. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, yeah. Sharp razor, bar slayer, par laying in a park, waiting on the day that God saves us. Crack duchess, spark hazes through the dark ages. Rap is all sweet, like they only come in tart flavors. Damn, where's your heart player? Matter of fact, halo on your cap, where's the heart player? Yeah. I dearly depart fakers with verses painted on the finest archival art papers. Charcoal mark maker tragic with the wrist. Mike with the airtime, magic with the swish. Dish it off like Stockton and Malone. This is not a poem. This will knock your dome clean off and rot your bones through the marrow till it hits your chakra zone. Got y'all waiting on my delivery like y'all shot from home. This is true. I don't know what y'all listen to. I eat the beat like Ethiopian finger food. Pick a crew and my team will demolish them. Real, rugged and raw rhyming, there's no need for polishing. Time and time again, I tried to tell y'all not to waste your time with them. They just taking up oxygen. Look, I'm just a rap fan, brother. So when I rap fans be like, damn, that man's butter. Everything is sublime that that man utter. But I shine, speaking with my mind like Scatman Crothers. I ain't dead serious. Mysterious as the pyramids, and I don't want to drop. I'll just make guest appearances. I'm not a rapper, just a delirious lyricist. Trapped in the weird abyss, I don't even know what year it is. They call me Migs, not your regular type of fella. Liquor sipping, pot smoking, wait, maybe I am, huh? Acapella rhyme selector, I design infected. Nine collector, giving y'all diamonds for free, but my time is extra. You're funny to me, you can't with me. Not really my cup of tea. Meanwhile, I am luxury cutlery, so refreshing. Everybody's favorite juice, Sunny D. <laughs> but I stay with the purple stuff. Pen and verses and cursive, immersed in circular puffs. I'm serving lunch, charred beats, it's the birth deluxe. Trust, I keep a sturdy clutch till the earth is dust. One. Lunchtime. But yeah, man, tell me a little bit more about lunch, man. Lunch is paying attention to trends, and um, sometimes they, they resonate, and sometimes they don't. I'm, I'm thrilled with where hip-hop is at right now. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, too, it's lovely. Same. It's everywhere, same. and there's just so much dopeness to, to check out. It's how I felt when I first discovered everything before my lifetime uh, in hip-hop, where... You know, because I was listening to current hip hop for like the first, you know, part of my life until yeah. I was like a teenager, and I went back and study. Yeah, and then yeah. I was like, oh my god, I opened up the doors to like the early '90s right. that that I was, you know, I was too young to experience at that point. But now I'm like, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. There's so much. Yeah. To bring it back to the track and why yeah, yeah. Why, <laughs> yeah. why I brought that up though was because the the original beat that I did that to that's also off the mixtape volume three, and um, you know, it's uh, I threw it over. A Derringer beat. 
Derringer. Shout out to Derringer. And shout out to Derringer and Griselda and yeah. just the... Um, Huge fan. Just overall, like, the whole sound. Yeah. Like, like you know, um, I love what they're doing. The feeling of kind of slowing it down uh-huh. and just getting a lot more moody, a lot more charismatic. The idea of painting a picture, it's like, with those kinds of beats, it feels like I just popped a, like, Jackson Pollock, like, size canvas. Yeah. Just leaned it up against the wall. Yeah. And there's paint everywhere and I'm you know I feel like I'm in like I'm in a studio where it's just everything is closed out and I have this whole wall to just like yeah do whatever I want on I remember uh RZA one time was was describing Jizza and yeah. I think it was like in an interview or maybe it was in like the uh like in in his book or something but it always stuck with me he always he he talked about how Jizza was such a genius because Every single placement of every word and even in the breaks was just so perfectly calculated. Yep. And I love that. I love the idea of like, it's not just about the words that I'm choosing. It's not just about the rhyme patterns Everything that I'm choosing. meaning to it. But it's just, yeah, it's like, you know, and, and speaking of Jackson Pollock, it's like, you know, he's, he's a, um, a polarizing kind of artist. A lot of people uh, love him. A lot of people hate him. Yeah. And, you know, the, the way I... The way I I always looked at his art was like that, where it was very precise to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like and and it was just very jazzy and improvisational, but but controlled and uh and beautiful. Yeah. And it just it's like it's like music looking at that. Like the, the way that you could describe music as painting, like you could look at look at art and it's music. Yeah. And you can zoom in and you can crop one little tiny section of it and it warms your your soul you know and you can think of uh whatever it makes you think of like i love things that make you think about the creation process and that's sweet to me that's sweet when when you're appeal to people that's not you like that's that's not that's not cool to me and that's not like that it it just screams insecurity like i want to see bravery i want to see you know i want to see you be uh, true to to who you are and make something that is what what you think is dope do you and uh, you know if you're not going to do that you're probably not going to stand the test of time you're probably going to give up and you're probably going to you know be like man i'm not blowing up and nobody's listening. it's like yeah because you're doing what everyone's doing everyone's so doing. please go away real rugged and raw rhyming there's no no need for polishing that's it. That's kind of that's kind of explains <laughs> yeah. it right there in that line. <laughs> you know. So yeah, I totally understand that. All right, should we go to the next? Yeah, let's do the third song. Uh huh. Mig Sun Daddy representing four elements and beyond. The next joints we're about to do is light work and taped up, both off a brand new album that's cooking up for y'all, nice and slow, marinating, but it's gonna be delicious. Trust me. Come on. <laughs> Să fie aruncate vraja de magie neagră, să îi afecteze. Fu, aruncă apa ce a rămas. Doamne ajută, așa să fie. Amin. Elements. Uh, I make the sky crack. Green digits on the iMac. Unplug the drug, make your spine tap. I rhyme raps on live tracks, high on dime sacks, a lilac. I make the stage feel like an IMAX. Smash your favorite rapper. Smash the entire venue. No amount of clapping will bring you back from where I'll send you. So hold the applause. Once I get the gold in my paws, I start feeling like the villain with the globe in my claws. Welcome to the home of the lords. Greek myths, Roman gods. Each script turn you to stone with the bars. You know the cause and effect. It's life and death when the mic is checked. You and I are not alike. You will get swiped and left. Mark a movement, make a stark improvement. I've been sparking over monster music since I was a toddler, stupid. Spewing jargon smoother than Marvin when I carve a jewel up. Bringing a horror like Garley Jr. to charge a juice up. We pull the whip up on your strip, cause shit's light. My advice for it, get like that, this thing twice. Make no mistakes, all facts, you heard right. My advice for it, get like that, this thing twice. Tell him, Prodigy. <laughs> Rest in peace, both P and For pun, we do it for guru. Let's go. Show you how it is. Uh, 
The guard majestic and authentic like it on field. The cloth that we cut from's nothing but God tier. Elements and mineral charm wear. Minimal charm here. Stay on your guard, men are all armed here. The hardware used to capture the grace had to be laced. I rattle the cage and blow your beat to the back of your face. Charcoal aftertaste, leaving a trace of acid in your veins. Too much to make you a basket case. The voice vet, rhyme game, Johnny Fontaine, smooth with it. Each tune vicious, reaching new limits. The crew dipped in orange and blue, cooking a few dishes. True business, moving pictures through the Louvre entrance. The fume drenched the room when the Ellis spark. My melon scarred from intelligent thought. The lead is sharp. Let it stray from the light, and hell is dark. Let him talk. I pen a dart, and your heart is forever marked. Slow money, no money, get your papes up. Act tough for six quarters, get your face touched. Dirty product in the case, keep it taped up. No crumbs left, everything is scraped up. Slow money, no money, get your papes up. Act tough for six quarters, get your face touched. Dirty product in the case, keep it taped up. No crumbs left, everything is scraped up. Word up, Mig Sun. That's how it's done. Effie B in the spot. Take three. So yeah, that that was light work taped up. Mm -hmm. So, all right, from from the first couple bars, I got the Matrix from this. <laughs> Because I was I make the sky crack, green digits on the iMac, the green digits. Unplug the drug and make your spine tap. So I'm guessing the movie, when they take the thing off, they out of their neck, it's connected to their spine, and the drug, the red and green, uh, uh, red and blue pill, right? Yeah. Red and blue pill, and the green digits on the iMac. How did you get that idea with that? Is that part of the major? Am I, am I right with that, or is that? Yeah, no, 100%. Oh, okay, cool. I was just want to make sure. There's no... <laughs> I, I think I was two for two for, like, the other tracks. No, I get three I'm, for three. I'm not going to so. mess with you and be like, where'd you get that from? Like, no, um, that's not right. <laughs> no, that's that's just, uh, you know, that's just uh, what it is. Um, gotcha. With, the, you know, the, the way the beat spoke to me and uh, the way I imagined coming in, like, you know, I, I, I think I knew... Uh, when I was writing it, that I was going to start it off, which isn't always the case. Sometimes we all write our verses and decide later. Um, yeah. and be like, ooh, that's actually, we should you know, swap this or do that. Um, but in this case, I think I knew I was starting it. Felt like a a good way to, to kind of just crack open this crazy, crazy beat. I feel like you were, like what we were talking about before, like you were in that mode of maybe not be, like maybe in, in the industry or maybe in your life of not being your real self, but then you unplug the drug yeah I, I i didn't really necessarily think of it in terms of myself uh mm. it was more so just um just creating the imagery of uh of kind of clearing away the bs and and getting cutting right down to the the core and uh and yeah the visual image that i had was just completely just making the the, the sky crack open yeah that's cool man i, I like that <clears throat> i like that like, it's always, like your lyrics like when you hear them from like audio you're like all right this is like mcing like but then when you read it and then you listen to it it's like damn it's kind of prophetic lines and all that <laughs> <laughs> like every... it's, it's, it's pack full it's pack full yeah. yeah like it's music that not only wants to be heard but seen yeah i mean all music wants to be felt yeah that's, mm -hmm. that's a given all art wants to be felt mm -hmm. yeah, yeah no it? that's that's super important to us yeah. um we, when, when we approach our music we we because you know and, and like it's it's the age old uh, comparison people always you know I think I even I might have even written it myself in my own bio but it's like the 90s uh, reminiscent of the 90s mm -hmm. like sound yeah but honestly it's it's timeless um, <clears throat> yeah to us it's timeless like yeah. that's that's when that's when we really fell in love with like this is this is music that could last forever mm -hmm. and and that's the kind of music that we uh, that we strive to embody and it wasn't just the sound it's not just like the, the the tempo or the the style of the drums or whatever it's <clears throat> very much like a feeling and you feel like the, the music that i love from that period was the kind that you felt like you were in the studio you could smell yeah. it yeah you know what i mean like you could you could hear the you know dj premiere hitting the button to to start like like one of my favorite songs of all time is um krs1 higher level mm. on uh Shout return of the boom bap yeah and like just just an amazing beat that he um, 
he just lets it ride for like yeah I don't even know like 24 bars before the song starts it's just playing and he's just we here yeah D and D studio D and D two a.m. setting the stage you know yeah and like that feeling it just made, just giving you time to really think like just the vibe to the beat vibe to the vibe of what he's I mean he's like about to do. like yeah. like it, it and where it comes in the album it's like it makes you just kind of remember that like this is a human being standing in front of a microphone in a in a booth with headphones on and and just being just being here being like there in the moment for for us and it's timeless yeah it's it lasts forever going into the other half of that track taped up um yeah. i think that was Something that that we felt with that track, which was just like that real warm, like smooth kind of jazzy piano, and our new album's coming out, and all the beats are produced by my brother Freak the Monster. He talk about painting pictures like without words, like he he sets he sets the the soundscape for us. That's just like you know we've been making music together um, since we were kids. You you can't fabricate that. You can't like you can't make that up. And yeah. and the the way that we work together and the way we write together and the way he makes the beats for us, it all um, I think it all just naturally feels like like us. Um, I really uh, salute you. Also, when you was performing, you shouted out Prodigy, Sean P, mm. and uh, Pun and Guru. So I repeated them. Those are uh, a big inspiration in my music career too. And um, yeah, I, I appreciate salute, that. And salute salute, that. Absolutely. salute to them because you know you know yeah, like yes, that sir. that's. It's foundational building blocks for right. not you know not just my music but like Every, who I am. Yeah, you know, this is such a beautiful culture, man. You know, I I, I will say that hip hop. Everybody says like hip hop saved my life. I'm like, yeah, I think it really saved my life. It gave me some sort of purpose in life too to really express myself too. You yeah, know? yeah. I mean, you know, I think if if there wasn't hip hop, um, I think that we'd all still be who we are. We'd, yeah. we'd still be fine. We would just be different. Yeah, and. uh and you know, yeah, you can you can always kind of like trace back something that's super important to you. Um, yeah. But you know, yeah, a lot of us who uh, who make music, I know you know a ton of people my age who used to make music, and maybe they it, they just didn't have the the time or you know so, like life just just uh, sent them in a different direction. And also, not everyone's meant to be artists. Yeah. Like you can still be a fan um, and be a part of the culture. And you know you're just not in that position. Position of doing it, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, for for those of us who I don't know about y'all, but like I, I think like you know you kind of allow your life to go where it goes while like creating music is a cornerstone. Like yeah, like that's that's super important to you. Then yeah, you have you have a very special connection to uh, to the culture that it's like it's hard to think of your life without it because yeah. it's like yeah, it's part of who you are. Yeah. Hey man, yo mix. I really appreciate you coming through, man. Um, once again, uh, where where can they find you? Uh, mix son, mix son, daddy. Just uh, I don't know. Google it. And um, four elements and beyond four is elements, uh, yeah. is the group. So yeah, definitely uh, check out at four elements and beyond on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Bandcamp dot com. Um, what is it? Uh, beyond the elements dot Bandcamp dot com. Got you. And you so, said you got a new album coming out too. Yes. I drop it. Uh, Four Elements and Beyond. Got the album coming on sometime beyond today. Okay. Sometime <laughs> beyond today. It's happening. Got you. Got you. But yeah, man, um, I'm on uh, social media also. You can check me out, Il Omega, I L L O M E G A. I'm on Facebook also. Same. Uh, check out Apex Club Entertainment. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. And I'm on Instagram on, and Facebook as House of Robot. All right. Or visit houseofrobot.com. There you go. <laughs> and thank you for listening to Take Three. Thank you to WTSR Radio and the College of New Jersey. And we out.